I have talked about a wide array of stories on my channel before. Some of the craziest things I think I could come across that people send me or something that I come across myself. But this one right here was like just extremely bizarre in a multitude of ways. So in this picture on the left, you see a man with his wife and his two children. His name is Darmesh Patel. And this man drove himself and his family off of a cliff in Northern California. And this is the result of that. He was driving a Tesla and this is the result of it. Like, look at it. this thing looks like a crushed soda can. And this is a more of a more expanded out view of where he drove the car off of. But here's the plot twist. All four of them survived. There were no casualties. Every last one of them survived this. And this guy did this intentionally. Like he had intent, criminal intent of taking out his wife and two children and himself. And I guess what would be considered to be a murder suicide, but it wasn't successful. And unfortunately for him, he has now been charged with attempted murder suspicion on a, of attempted murder. Now I'm going to go ahead and see what else this story brings. The rescue was described as almost miraculous. A family of four whose car had careened off a treacherous cliff top road in Northern California plummeted more than 250 feet and trapped them on Monday, managed to survive and avoid life threatening injuries. But now the authorities say their car's dramatic drop was no accident, but an intentional act and in that the father could face charges. Darmesh A. Patel, age 41 of Pasadena, California, was arrested late Monday on suspicion of attempted murder and child abuse, the California Highway Patrol Golden Gate Division said on Tuesday afternoon. He will be transported to San Mateo County Jail after being released from the hospital, the authorities say. The San Mateo County District Attorney said that it had not received the case from the Highway Patrol to determine whether Mr. Patel should be charged. The rescue of the family from their mangled white Tesla involved numerous emergency responders and officers and the use of a helicopter. Just before 11 a.m. on Monday, officers were called to help with the rescue, which was on a scenic route. I'm sorry, scenic stretch of Highway 1, about 20 miles southwest of San Francisco. The area where the car fell is very high and filled with rocky cliffs that drop down to the Pacific Ocean and beach area. Brian Pottinger, the battalion chief of the Coastside Fire Protection District San Mateo Santa Cruz unit, said in an email. It is known for being difficult to drive through and is often referred to as Devil's Slide. Mr. Pottinger said the vehicle landed upright on its wheels, which made the passengers easier to access through the side windows. It is very unusual for anyone to survive an accident of this magnitude in this area, Chief Pottinger said. Mr. Patel's wife, also age 41, and their two children, a seven-year-old girl and a four-year-old boy, were trapped in the vehicle when emergency responders arrived. Chief Pottinger said, firefighters extricated the victims and using ropes brought the children to the road on stretchers and then to a nearby hospital. The children were uninjured, the authorities said. The adults who suffered non-life-threatening injuries were hoisted onto, on, onto a helicopter and taken to the highway, where they were transferred to a hospital by air ambulance. The Highway Patrol said in a news release on Tuesday afternoon that investigators had worked overnight Monday interviewing witnesses and analyzing the crash site and had determined that it had been an intentional act. The authorities said it was unclear if the Tesla was in a self-drive mode, though the agency said it did not believe that was a contributing factor. A highway patrol spokesman declined to specify what evidence had led the authorities to arrest Mr. Patel, saying only that they felt the proposed charges were justified. The stretch of highway where the accident took place had been the scene of dozens of fatal accidents in recent decades in which people have driven off the road. In 2013, a tunnel opened that was designed to make the road safer. Even so, at least nine fatalities have occurred there since. The San Francisco Chronicle reported last year. Monday's crash occurred just south of the tunnel. A report published in, 20, in 2021 by the California Department of Transportation said that runoff the road accidents were more common in the area that includes Devil's Slide than elsewhere in the state because of edge of pavement conditions, steep drop-offs, and lack of permanent barriers. Landslides in that area have also caused periodic 
road closures. I, I would be fearful of driving on a road like that. Cause you know, those are those roads that a lot of times don't have, like they said, they don't have those barriers. So it's literally like a life or death situation. Drive around that thing fast. If you want to, you'll careen off of it just like they did. And that'll be an accident. You may not survive. It's crazy. I think the craziest thing again about this is that this guy did this intentionally and they survive. If this was by accident, they probably would have died. But that's the whole article right there. That's who that is crazy. Miraculously. The family survived, but knowing that this guy most likely did this intentionally. Oh, he could have went. He could have went to the arms of his maker. That's crazy. Like, it's almost like now he probably is like feeling so terrible right now. He's like, I did all of this for nothing. I tried to make this look like an accident. They found out it was intentional. We all survived me being the culprit. And now look at what's about to happen to me. This guy probably is one of the most saltiest people on the planet right about now. But now that he knowing that he is alive now, he can talk because y'all know what I say. Dead people don't talk. Well, he can. And I hope they pump him from as much information as they possibly can. The biggest question we have here is what and or why would make you commit an act such as this? I think that's the biggest question that needs to be answered or having a, a, you know, a request for an answer for like what would make you try to kill yourself, your wife and your family like that? Like what was going on? But he's definitely going to be facing a lot and i hope he does a lot of jail time behind this act because at this point it's almost like you don't really matter what he says is the fact that he tried to do it but again it's a miracle that they even survived and they said that the kids really didn't have any injuries and that their parents had non-life-threatening injuries like they literally almost could have got out of that car and walked up out of there if they wanted to. Luckily, the car did not explode. Now that for sure, they wasn't going to walk away from that. They would have had to, you know, uh, scoop them up out of there. So I think that's another thing that helped too, was that this thing didn't explode on impact. And they said the angle at which the car fell and landed also helped as well. So this is a, a bizarre story because they all survived, but it's also a frightening one because of what this man was attempting to do.